and shield. Uh, energy status is? Uh, 92%. We were almost full. Captain, do you prefer a number or percentage? Um, percentage. Alright. Uh, can I get a tactical display on the main screen? I'm guessing. Thank you. Oh shit, this is the fleet captain. You need to move to at least 2,000 units away from the Euphini gate. Alright, so I go to what one? Okay, you are now instructed to move into within a distance of 1,000 units. That is your primary right. beam range. Right, come out, let's go back. And move us in so that the gate is in our beam arch. Alright, and let's come to a stop here. Actually, set uh, set thirty percent impulse again. If you're wondering why we're doing that, is because uh, you need to be at uh, to use the fuel collectors to get fuel up. Is uh, to you have to be, I think, within between twenty. Fuel collector. Fuel collector's not activated. Because the shields are up. Mm. Oh, is that is that a thing? Yes, yeah, it does not work with shields up. Ah. Uh. So, what is our energy at now? Our energy is at 73%. Yeah, those shields are eating it up. But, oh, yep, yeah, it looks like we're gonna move through the gate now. The Phoenix is closing in. Gates activating. Alright, no immediate threats. You can go ahead and lower the shields and go to 30% impulse. We've got a few bogies here. Science, go ahead and scan. Sometimes when you have six ships, you can uh, scan the entire map in such a short DSAF Asimov 2, 4th Light Division. Welcome to the Frontier, ladies, gents, and others. I am Captain Stevens of the construction ship Asimov. I hope your gate transit was not too nauseating. You are clear for approach vectors, not that there is any real traffic around it. Uh, don't mind the biomechs in this figure and see they frequently travel through this sector and rarely show any interest in us. I believe Fleet Captain Daniels of the Virgil has some things to say, uh, patching you over now. This is Fleet Captain Daniels, First Fleet Third Deep Space Escorts. Welcome to the Expanse. I cannot say I am too unhappy about getting relieved. It's been a long and dull six months struggling here and getting the gate established. The TSN version and our division are heading outbound to delay it in most power. Well, nearly all of it, the TSN saucer BS-109 failed to return two weeks ago. It was sent to investigate an unusual radio signal from Sector Zero via NAV-4. Its last transmission indicated it has encountered a field of rogue wormholes. Unfortunately, we have no idea of its location and assume it is lost with all hands. Though I do ask you to keep an eye and ears out for it at any sign of it. We have established a sensor on coming structure in this sector to provide early warning defense for the Asimov and have conducted a system survey as part of establishing the gate. The expanse is somewhat unstable. Indeed, we expect the gateway to collapse after our transit out. Uh, we have to nail down some of the changing environmental factors in this area. I will let Stevens fill you on the supply situation. The supply 
my situation is reasonably good. Uh, we can currently maintain a stable wormhole once every two weeks and have scheduled to supply runs appropriately. Uh, the next supply run being on Starlate 210215. I've requested all the usuals and we should be able to transmit an updated request next week when we re-establish the zero width hole during a test cycle. We are a little short on dynamite than I would like, but it's nowhere near critical levels. Anyway, all I can say is welcome again and damn it. Looks like a few of those biomechs are getting a bit upset about our activity. Defense stations, people! <coughs> this is Dan Jones. The show really need us. Uh, we will sit this one out. We have minimum weapons and power. We left as much stuff for you and the Asimov as we could. Good hunting. And remember, they are not all hostile Biomax. Well, unless you get too close. This is PSN Virgil Clear. Asimov Clear. Christ, that was too loud. <laughs> oh, intruder on the bridge. Lieutenant Trisson, put him in the bridge. Bridge. What the hell? User left your channel. Well done. Oh god. Captain, I'm showing multiple enemy targets between C2 and B5-4. Well... Not all Biomax are hostile. Yeah. Um, we're not supposed to engage uh, them uh, just because they're red, apparently. We're not, uh, we're not meant to fly close to them. If you... That if you also. If so... You fly to so, heading 180 and engage. I'm not sure why the entire fleet just flew right next to them. Yeah, that's... Considering we were uh, just told to not fly next to them. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why they did that either, but we're not gonna do so. We're gonna show that at least one ship listens. <laughs> Alright, course correction, 229. Another course correction, 234. Way to throw the needle, Helm. Dear Sun Pegasus, this is the Falcon. Move to Grip Bravo 4 to defend our escorts. Uh, okay. Coming hard about, coming hard about. New heading is zero four five zero four five, and back to work. Uh, this is Pegasus. Your area of operations is Alpha Four through Bravo Five. Yes, Captain. Um, could you contact uh, TSN Trout Bridge? and tell them to attack the nearest enemy. Uh, weapons load homing torpedoes, helm heading zero one zero. Captain TSN Hawk, request direction. TSN Hawk is... Mm, has not been assigned to us, that I know. You actually, they do. They are. Um, okay, engage Biomech 153. Biomech 153. Orders, orders for the chase and hawk, Captain. Uh, tell them to rendezvous with us. Helm back up a little. Too close. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Right, let's engage the Biomech 153. Helm, you need. Helm, engage the Biomech 153. Frequency is alpha. Oh okay, God. guys, what's happening? Talk to me. What are we doing? Uh, engineering, why are you not boosting maneuver? I apologize, I didn't know we were returning. Well, you need to know that. Come on, engage. Ooh, four beams. <laughs> Right, fire torpedoes. Torpedoes away. 
Yeah, yeah, where's my arc? 35%. Well, go after him. Captain, the TSN Hawk is coming to assist. Alright, stand down. The TSN Hawk is asking for orders. Tell him to assist us in picking up these life pods. Uh, Helm, you need to maneuver uh, close to each of the pods to pick them up. Uh, closest one is on heading 233. Pegasus reporting in. Uh, unfortunately, we were not able to uh, reach the escorts in time, but uh, we are picking up uh, live pod signs, so we are picking up the live pods now. You can go ahead and pick up the next pod. Uh, weapons, could you convert two homings to right. energy? Uh, Helm, do you see the output? Helm, can you hear me? Alright, so you got a pod that's heading to zero, 235 or whatever. Alright, there you go. Um, Combs, could you signal the Hawk to meet us at uh, the station in Delta 2? Roger that. Uh, Helm, the heading for station is 222. And engage warp. Nice flying. Requesting docking from TSA Vasmov. Thirty percent energy. I have a silly kind of out of character question. Do I have to switch between team speed and oh, that no. Um, go ahead and duck here. Mm. Um, Helm? Did, did anyone catch his question? I believe he said, asked if he needed to switch between TeamSpeak and Artemis to talk. Shouldn't need to. Can you hear me now? Yep. Yes. Okay, fantastic. I thought I'd have to switch between TeamSpeak and the No, no. Sorry about that. Alright, so, uh, yeah, station is straight ahead of you. Let's go ahead and dock up. Let's get some uh, energy in here. I attempt to dock from the starboard size. Oh, the port side is having trouble docking. Um, not seeing tractor beams. Um, how am I able to dock? Usually within range. Oh, 
no, no. I, sorry, I, I might be having time to...